What I want to do today is, I'm at Planet Fitness, and they're excited about what we're all doing, is I want to go through a simple full body workout. I've been getting a lot of your emails and posts on just what should I do for back? What should I do for abs? What should I do for legs? Well, I want you to sit tight and we're gonna start this workout right now. Take your dumbbells, lay down on your bench, bring the dumbbells up, oxygenate on the way down, nice deep breath, blow it out, exhale on the way up. This is a chest dumbbell press. It's great for toning, for building strength and muscle in your upper body. You wanna do three sets of 10 repetitions. Rest 60 seconds between each set. Make sure you use a weight that's best for you. Now, if you don't have some of these, check this out. Get on the floor and do your traditional push-up. You want your hands shoulder in width. Come down, take a deep breath, blow it out. If this is too difficult, bring your knees down. You're taking 50% of the weight right off of your chest. Do the same movement. And now you're basically simulating that chest press with dumbbells. Three sets of 10 repetitions. If that gets too easy, then do your traditional push-up. It's a great full body workout, specifically for your upper body. Now let's move to back. A great exercise for your back is actually a lower cable row. And my knees are slightly bent, shoulders back, chest out. I'm taking this bar and I'm bringing it into my belly, blowing out on exertion, taking a nice deep breath, oxygenating, blowing out. I don't want to see you hyperextend your back. Make sure that you shoulders back, chest out. You want to do three sets of 10 repetitions. It's great for your latissimus dorsi muscles, the large muscles that create that V shape. Now, if you don't have access to this baby, don't sweat it. You could also simulate the same exercise with these exercise cables. But remember, make sure you do three sets of 10 repetitions. Now let's move to the arms. When working out your arms, you want to start with the back part of your arms, your tricep. It's two thirds your entire arm. I'm on a tricep cable push down, close grip, elbows tucked in, knees slightly bent, shoulders back and chest out, blow out on exertion on the way down. Oxygenate. And this is all isolating the three heads, the tricep, three muscles in the back part of the arm three sets of 10 repetitions. Now, if you don't have access to this, go to your infamous cable and you can work with this exercise cable any place, including your home, elbows tucked in, blow out on exertion, three sets of 10. You're simulating the exact movement that I just did. Now let's move to biceps. I want you to be doing a seated bicep curl. I'm on a 45 degree bench for back support. I'm coming up like a hammer. I'm turning, I'm squeezing, coming back down. I'm working my forearm right now. As I'm twisting, I'm working both heads of my bicep. So a nice fluid range of motion. I don't want to see any jarring or bending your back. You want to do three sets. 10 repetitions. Each rep is like this. One, one, all the way to 10. Now, if you don't have this, you also can use your exercise cables. Let's move to shoulders. While doing shoulders, I'm doing a side lateral, knees slightly bent. Know that the shoulder is one of the smallest body parts. It's the only one that's got 360 degrees range of motion. It's injured the greatest. 
It's overtrained the most. I want you to do three sets of 10 repetitions. But this is how I want you to do it. Front, front, side, side. That's one rep. Two, 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 and two. Don't come higher than your ear. Three, and do this all the way to 10 repetitions. Rest for 60 seconds, and then do two more. Now let's get to legs. If you want to have the best physique, then don't forget your legs. I'm at Planet Fitness in a Smith machine. It looks very intimidating, but I just want you to use your body weight, especially if you've never done legs before. And squatting is one of the best overall movements for your legs. I'm not using weight. I'm holding on to the bar. I'm squatting down like I'm sitting. Your thigh is parallel with the floor. It's working your quadriceps your hamstrings, your butt. Then I'm coming up, not locking out on my knees to hurt the knee joint. I'm doing three sets, 10 repetitions. Once this gets easy, I could put weights in my hand. Now let's move to your abdominal muscles. Sit down on a chair or a bench and leverage your glute so that you're basically at a point where you can hold your body up, use your hands for support, Bring your knees into your chest, blow out on exertion. This is working belly button down, and as you bring your chest, it's working belly button up. Three sets of 10, or do that to failure, whether that's four or 40. The bottom line is I've just given you, help design a full body workout. Make an appointment with yourself and do it. Now that I've gone through my workout, I hope that this evening or tomorrow, you go through the workout that I just put you through. I think the bottom line is it really starts and it ends with you. And I've said it on stage during convention, and I'm gonna say it right now. If you want something bad enough, you're gonna find a way. If not, you're gonna make excuse after excuse after excuse. You need to make an appointment with yourself tomorrow morning Put yourself first. Be the CEO of your body. No one's going to take you to the gym. No one's going to cook food for you. And no one is going to force you to work out and be a better version of yourself. So as we go through this week and this coming weekend, I want you to just feel grateful for the opportunity on truly being healthy. And whatever you're going through right now, I want tomorrow we need to truly be grateful and have gratitude. And be grateful for the things you have, not for the things that you're wishing for. But exercise, eat right, and continue this journey with me. I'm humble that you've allowed me into your home this evening. And I'm humble that I'm your coach. God bless everybody, and keep believing.